the vision of binomial expansion. Sometimes you're not asked to write out the entire expansion, but to pick out particular terms. For example, find the fourth term in the expansion of 3 minus x to the power 7 in ascending powers of x. Ascending means going up. So the powers of, in this case, minus x are going up. Minus x to the power naught is 1. You don't need to write that. Minus x to the power 1, minus x to the power 2, minus x to the power 3. The powers of 3 are coming down. 3 to the power 7, 6, 5, to get the binomial coefficients, you can write out the entire Pascal's triangle up to n equals 7. Or you can use the binomial coefficients from your calculator, 7c0, which is 1, so you don't need to write it down, 7c1, 7c2, 7c3. And when you found the fourth term, that's the one you need to work with. First, tidy up the powers. The cube of negative x is negative x cubed. 3 to the power 4 is 81. And the binomial coefficient is 35. And then multiply at the end. In that one, you were told you wanted the fourth term. Sometimes you're told which power of x it is. In this one, we want the coefficient of x cubed. The powers of 4x, the power 0, the power 1, 2, 3. The powers of 1 are all 1, so you don't need to write those down. And the binomial coefficients, 5c1, 5c2, 5c3. The term we want is the one in x cubed. Sort out the powers before you multiply by the binomial coefficient. If you were asked for the term in x cubed, it would be 640 x cubed. The coefficient of x cubed is the number that x cubed is multiplied by. 10 is called the binomial coefficient. The 640 is the coefficient of x cubed. Sometimes it's not obvious which term will involve the power that's specified. Which term in x minus 1 over x to the power 8 will be the term in x to the power 4? Start writing them down. The powers of x are x to the power 8, x to the power 7, x to the power 6. The terms of in 1 over x, we've got times 1 over x to the power 0, and to the power 1, and to the power 2. And consider what happens when you tidy it up. x to the power 8 is the first power of x. Here we have x to the power 7 divided by x. So that would be x to the power 6. Here we'd get x to the power 6 divided by x squared. That would be x to the power 4. So that's the term that we want. This one was on practice paper A. Find the first four terms in ascending powers of x of 2 plus px to the power 9. So it's ascending powers of x. And in this case, that means powers of px. So you have px to the power 0, px to the power 1, px to the power 2, px to the power 3. That gives you four terms. Sort out the powers before you multiply by the coefficients. So we have 2 to the power 9, 2 to the power 8, 2 to the power 7, 2 to the power 6. And the powers of px px to the power naught is 1. We have px, p squared x squared, p cubed x cubed. And then at the end, multiply to simplify the coefficient. You were then told that the coefficient of the x cubed term is 84. That gives you an equation 
which you can solve to find P. And when you know P, you can find the other coefficient. A similar one. We're just told the coefficient of x cubed is minus 720. So we have to think, what's the term in x cubed? This time it's going to have bx to the power 3. And it will have 3 to the power 2. Notice that these powers will always add up to 5. n was 5 here. And the binomial coefficient will be 5c3. We're looking at the term in x cubed. And that gives you an equation for finding b. Sometimes you get questions about obtaining approximate numerical values. This was a useful technique before the days of calculators. Nowadays, you could just use a calculator to get the value. So it's not as useful, but um, the theory is still interesting. So expand 1 plus 2x to the power 9 just up to the term in x cubed. Sort out the powers before you do any multiplying. So we have 2x to the power 1, 2x to the power 2, 2x to the power 3. The powers of 1 are all 1, so you don't need to write those down. And multiply by the binomial coefficients. 1 plus 1.02 is 1 plus 0.02. So it's 1 plus twice 0.01. And if we put in x equals 0.01, we'll get 1 plus twice 0.01 to the power 9. 0.01 is something whose powers you could work out without a calculator. So it enables you to work out 1.02 to the power 9 without needing to use a calculator. And although it doesn't give the exact value, it gives it very, very close to the value that you would get if you had the entire binomial expansion all the way up to the term with x to the power 9. Sometimes you get questions involving neglecting the higher powers of x, which are just algebraic. In this one, we want an approximation to 1 plus x times 1 minus 3x to the power 6. Start expanding 1 minus 3x to the power 6. But if x squared and higher powers are so small that they can be neglected, we stop when we get to the term in minus 3x. We then multiply that by 1 plus x. And when we multiply out, remember that x squared is so small that it can be neglected. We find that the product is approximately 1 minus 17x. 